Welcome back to another exciting edition of CNC Lathe Programming Setup and Operation brought to you by Northwest Iowa Community College. I will be your instructor today, Mr. Brian Bush, and we're going to cover the topic of feed rate and spindle speed. So when it comes to these two topics, feed rate and spindle speed, let's talk about the typical code we're going to be programming in right here. G99 feed per revolution. Unless for some reason we're bar feeding or bar pulling where we want the spindle stopped but a feed to be possible. Then we would be in G98. One would cancel the other. So in feed per revolution mode every time the part makes a revolution the Z or X is going to feed so much into the part. The caveat here being obviously that the spindle has to be turning in order for feed to be happening. So if for some reason you don't want the spindle to be turning and you want feed to be happening you need to be in feed per minute mode G98. Whereas before we are in feed per minute we talked about and calculated feed rates such as maybe 20 inches per minute or 20 point. Now we're going to be talking about feed rates of point zero zero one to point zero one or a hundred one thousandths to ten thousandths per revolution. That's probably where we will stick with the range most. So to learn more about that come down here go in your book and you'll see in the Machining's Fundamentals book it gives you some some layouts of why you would use certain feed per revs. This very much has to do with uh, tooling spec'd out. So when we talk about feed and speed in here it's going to be in, in generality because I really don't know where you work, what kind of tooling they'll use and that all has very much detail to it for instance if it were a 35 degree insert carbide tool of a certain grade with a certain nose radius you may have to take a minimum depth of cut up to a maximum depth of cut so it's just really hard for me to talk in that kind of detail because I could spend an entire class unit just talking about that alone <clears throat> here we are back to the subject matter surface feet per minute or cutting speed so this is what we look up we take our SFM Here's our RPM calculation, SFM. We're going to round this to times 4 divided by whatever's turning. In the case of the lathe, it's the part. So if we have an example here, uh, RPM on a lathe. We're talking lathe RPM, part going to be turning. So we'll use 2 inch brass, SFM of 400. Which should the RPM be? Well, 400 times 4, 1600 divided by two is 800. So that is for high-speed steel though. If we're using carbide we're going to run it three to four times faster. So we'll stick with the low end of things. 2400 RPM. That's how fast that would be turning. So we come up here and we just go to our RPM mode which is G97 we would program G97 M3 S2400 and that would be our RPM now if we wanted to stick with a constant surface speed then we're talking about G96 mode so we're programming G96 we would turn the spindle on we have our G97 going, be turning 2400, and then on one of the following lines we would program G96 S, and the S would just be the SFM for the material, which in this case was 400, and from that point on we may also in conjunction with this use a G50, which I absolutely would, G50 we'll say S 2400 so this is the max we want this to turn in that case so we want it to be then in 
G96, constant surface speed mode where it's constantly changing the RPM to match the diameter of the work, but not exceeding 2400 because we set the G50 not to exceed 2400. So after this unit you should know how to turn the spindle on, how to change speed on the lathe, how to set a max RPM, what the difference is between G96 and G97 mode, how to calculate RPM, which you already know how to do. The only difference is here, now we're back to calculating the material turning versus the tool turning. And that will conclude the feed rate and spindle speed unit. Make sure you go through your required readings and then take the quiz afterwards. This quiz should have calculations for RPM on it. By now this should be old hat. One thing I also wanted to uh, to say, I guess, was that it is possible then to calculate your inches per rev knowing your RPM and uh, feed rate in per minute mode. So if you were to take, we could go with inches per rev is equal to equal to RPM calculated RPM divided by calculated inches per minute so if you had a material that was working well at a certain RPM and a certain inch per minute if you wanted to know what the inches per revolution for that was, then that's a simple formula right there. Divide the RPM by the inches per minute gives you inches per revolution. Alright, now that will conclude our feed rate and spindle speed lesson.